good morning dear students welcome back to our online class so you are watching chamam and today we'll be continuing with our english literature class chapter lesson number 10 all summers in a day written by ray douglas bradbury in the previous video we have seen that how margaret actually you know recollects uh, her memory regarding this um, that she has seen the sun because unlike the other children she has come from the earth whereas all other children they belong to the planet venus itself and now they are 9 years old and last time when the sun came or sunrise in that place or they have seen the sunlight it was 7 years back and they were only 2 years old so it is very difficult for a 2 year child to recollect those memories uh, about the sun so they have no idea how the sun looks and all so what they know is that they what they read in the textbooks or what they wrote um about the poems or the drawings and the pictures except margaret no one knew how the sun looked like but margaret says she, it looked like a penny it's like a you know fire it's like a fire on the stove so she gives a lot of examples to make the other children get an idea that how the sun actually looks like okay but the other children don't agree with her they feel like she is simply boasting and they feel like she is simply cooking up the stories and she actually doesn't know anything okay so today we'll be continuing from page number 111 of your textbook so she remembered all those uh, you know uh, looking through the window she was trying to recollect uh, her memories regarding that so but she remembered and stood quietly apart from all of them and watched the patterning window so because there was a drizzling and the there were water droplets on the window pane so she was just uh, watching that pattern of the water droplets and once a month ago she had refused to shower in the school shower rooms had clutched her hands to her ears and over her head screaming the water mustn't touch her head okay and um, you know margaret behaved uh, very differently from other children we have already seen so many examples so she recollects um, you know few months back something happened with her that she refused to take a shower in the school shower room and she had clutched her hands to her ears i mean holding her hands like this towards her ears and over her head screaming and she was like screaming very loudly actually she have no idea um, the water mustn't touch her why she is screaming because she don't want the water to fall on her while having the shower now it's not possible to uh, have your shower without the water okay so after that dimly dimly she sensed it she was different and they knew her difference and kept away so you know after this incident only children started noticing her and found her that she is little bit different okay she is not like all other children and gradually um she was been marginalized or she has been isolated from other friends there was talk that her father and mother were taking her back to earth next year so uh, there was also a rumor that uh, margot is going back to earth her father and mother they are taking her back to the earth in the next year and it seemed vital to her that they do so and it seemed vital means it's very important the very necessary thing and that they will be doing that also why because why they consider it as necessary because in here margot is not uh, having any friends she is not happy seem to be happy in the classroom she is not mingling with the other students okay so it feels like it's and she behaves sometimes uh, very differently so as a result of that her parents too felt that it is necessary that they will be taking her back to earth okay so it seemed vital to her that they do so though it would mean the loss of thousands of dollars to her family okay so though it it cost a very huge expense but still um when coming to the welfare of your child the parents don't look for the money okay so this is what her parents also think about uh, margot and so the children hated her for all these reasons of big and little consequence but the children were not actually liking her they hated her for all these reasons of this uh, smaller and bigger reasons uh, related to margot and they hated her pale snow face even they used they hated her pale snow face um, her waiting silence her thinness 
her possible future okay so that means um she is very quiet she is very calm and you know she always uh, don't mingle don't talk too much with not even too much don't talk with anyone okay and in her appearance also she looks very small she looks very frail we have already seen in the previous paragraphs okay all these actually you know are the different reasons that why children don't want them them her to be with them or uh, even margaret herself shows doesn't show any interest to go and make friends get away the boy gave her another push what are you waiting for so when margaret was trying to look out of the window and watch and at the time one of the boy came and he just pushed her away and very you know shouted very loudly very angrily get away go away from me there from here what are you waiting for why are you waiting for here then for the first time she turned and looked at him and you know margot felt that uh, she didn't like the way the boy actually you know pushed her and she said turned and looked uh, very sad at him and what she was waiting for was in her eyes and he asked her what you are waiting for here but actually what she was waiting for is very clearly seen in her eyes okay and her lips moved and first time uh, she uh, tried to say something nothing he cried okay so nothing um, then the boy himself said you don't have anything to look out of the window you don't have anything to wait for okay so nothing is there it was all a joke wasn't it he turned to the other children you know it's like uh, this scene is like you know bullying uh, margaret actually the boy came pushed her and asked her a few questions and he himself answered as if because he knew that margaret is not going to open her mouth and turning to all other children he uh, just uh, try to you know make fun of her in front of other children nothing is happening today is it so they say very loudly you is it anything happening today no nothing is happening today they all blinked at him and then understanding laughed and shook their heads nothing nothing oh but margaret whispered her eyes helpless but this is the day the scientists predict the say they know the sun so margaret said that no no why are you telling nothing this is the day that the scientist has actually predicted you know they told that the sun will be rising actually she want to complete the sentence but she was not able to complete before that all the other children all a joke said the boy no we are actually making fool of you you know when april fool comes someone say something and they make you believe that it's true and when you are caught at the time all will be making fun of you similarly like that here also all of them you know just make fun of margaret saying that no it was all a joke said the boy and seized her roughly and hold her hand very tightly hey everyone let's put her in a closet before the teacher comes now you know it's like something a kind of a small ways of ragging so the boy came and he hold the wrist of margaret very tightly and he pulled her and said to all the other children before the teacher comes let's do one thing let us put her in a closet closet here actually refers to a closed room okay so let her put her in the closet before the teacher comes and now the children you know <clears throat> it's all a fun and chill uh, you know it's a habit with some children to bully other children so no said margaret and margaret was you know crying uh, making loud noise say no don't do that okay don't put me don't close me in the room falling back actually she was trying to make herself free from the clutches of the uh, boy who has hold her hand tightly okay they surged about her caught her up and bore her protesting and then pleading and then crying come back into a tunnel a room a closet where they slammed and locked the door finally what the children did all the children joined together they surged about her surged they all hold together uh, margaret they caught her up and they bore boring means bearing lift her and uh, margaret what she was doing she was protesting she was requesting she is pleading she is crying not to take her and put in that closed room okay but the boys or the but the um, you know students did not listen and uh, they took her into a tunnel a room a very closed room and where and what did they do they slam the door slamming means what um, you know closing the door with a loud noise okay slammed and locked the door from outside 
Now poor Margot, she was locked inside the room. They stood looking at the door and saw it tremble from her and beating and throwing herself against it. So what Margot was doing inside, she was not keeping quiet and, uh, you know, crying. She was actually beating at the door very, uh, you know, very fastly. And the, the children standing outside, they can look that the door was moving and a lot of noise and the sound is also coming because Margot is actually trying to um push herself maybe with her so shoulders or with her hands or trying to pull back the door so that the door could be opened okay so they heard her muffled cries and muffled cries means is very crying with sobbing and crying then smiling they turned and went out and back down the tunnel just as the teacher arrived now what did the, the students did they did not open the door for margaret and margaret was crying inside and the students, you know, they smiled at standing outside. They smiled, they turned and they came out uh, to their own classroom before the teacher arrived. Okay. Ready children. Now the teacher is not aware that the children have actually uh, did this with the Margot. Okay. Margot is now inside the room into a, in a tunnel closed room because there is no even any kind of, uh, you know, ventilation or way out. So, ready to the teacher, unaware of this, she comes to the class and she greets all the children and she uh, asks the children, ready children? She glanced at her watch, okay? She was looking at the watch. She said, are you all ready? Yes, said everyone. So, everyone is ready. Now, what they, what they are ready for actually? They are ready to see the sun outside, okay? So, all we are, are we all here? So, the teacher asks that all are there, isn't it? Every, anyone is missing? Are we all here? Yes the rain then the children replied yes no one said that margaret is not here or neither the teacher did not uh, notice that margaret is not there the rain slacked still more they crowded to the huge door the rain stopped now finally you know all the children were made up the line and they were taken to the um, door and doorstep and then they were waiting for the rain to stop and finally the rain stopped it was as if in the midst of a film concerning an avalanche, a tornado, a hurricane, a volcano eruption, something had first gone wrong with the sound apparatus, the muffling and finally cutting off all noise, all of the blast and repercussions and thunders, and then, second, ripped the film from the projector and inserted in its place a beautiful tropical slide which did not move or tremor. The world ground to a standstill. The silence was so immense and unbelievable that you felt your eyes had been stuffed off. You had lost your hearing altogether. The children put their hands to their ears. They stood apart. The door slid back and the smell of the silent waiting world came into them what came the sun came out okay so now this is you know it's it's like um you know pre presented this paragraph which i read just now is actually presented as if like you imagine you are watching um a movie and when you sit to watch a movie you know everything all will become silent there will be no noise and as if the projector opens and it shows uh, certain low screen scenarios etc so something like that okay so it was as if in the mid of a film concerning you know like you are in the middle of the film you are watching a avalanche you might be watching a tornado a hurricane or after a volcanic eruption after anything like this happens after that complete silence will be there okay and all of the blast and repercussions and thunders um you feel like it has just come out of the projector though you know that you are watching in the film everything is it's only a screen and it comes but uh, the sound and the quality of that uh, sound quality and the picturization the clarity of the picture all will be so clear and it's very uh, vivid in front of your eyes that you feel like everything is real isn't it so the world ground to a standstill that the silence was so big immense means big and unbelievable that you felt your ears had been stuffed or you had lost your hearing altogether you know there will be completely pin drop silence except that you will not be listening to anything else 
and the children put their hands to their ears they stood apart and the children actually they have no idea that how the sun comes whether it comes with lot of noise whether it comes with lot of uh, you know tremor tremor means shake uh, or the very huge movement on the earth okay that we call it as a tremor especially we see during the time of earthquakes so uh, children have no idea that how actually um, that moment when the sun will come will be and they are just imagining that it will be something big something huge and unusual that as they watch through the projector they watch a film and all these things they watch similarly something it will be like that the door slid back now finally the door the big door where the children are allowed to go outside it slowly slid and opened and there was complete silence and everyone was waiting for that new world okay venus is a one planet and everyone is waiting for that new scene new world that came into them and what is that the sun came out okay it was actually the sun rise up there isn't it so uh, i hope that you understood this much part and uh, we'll continue with the rest of the story in the coming video till then take care have a good day